Why should I do this? <laughs> I did this last time. Well, we haven't, we haven't got a chance to speak to you since your big win in Nashville. Um, um, so I guess how's life since another victory? Um, just normal life. Uh, you know, just keeping in shape, uh, still training. Um, and yeah, nothing, nothing new, nothing new. Same uh, thing. Obviously, after your big win, people, even Connor tweeted, like, you know, future champs, you should fight for the title next. Mm -hmm. A lot of people also brought up Yan Jonan because she also beat Jessica just mm -hmm. to fight before you. So have you met with UFC at all, and do you have any ideas of what their plans are for this next title shot? No, um, I haven't spoken to them. So, you know, I guess we'll find out after tonight what their plans are. Um, I'm hoping to get the title shot. You know, I think that, you know, um, I think I've... I don't know. I mean, I can't, I can name things, but, you know, I just hope that I'm, I'm next. And, uh, <laughs> but I'm, I think, you know, I have like seven fight, seven fight win streak right now in the UFC. So I'm hoping that that can solidify. I know I had a layoff, but still seven fights in a row. <laughs> and I'm sure you've heard it. Like if, if, if Whaley wins and they do want to go to China, I'm sure they would want to do the Yan versus Whaley fight. Is, yeah. If that does happen, are you a fighter that would like, you know, you would wait for your turn or would you want to stay active, you know, after your long layoff? Um, you know, I don't mind fighting, you know, again, um, I always like to fight, I like to fight anybody, but, um, you know, I definitely want to fight the big, bigger names, you know, people that have either, you know, fought for titles or have been title head holders. That's the only reason why I kept asking, like, maybe for Rose, just because obviously, like, sure. you know, she was, she was a, a champion, so not like I have anything against, they're like, you keep calling her out. I'm like, no, I just want to fight the best of the best because, you know, it just shows that you're the best when you beat them. So it's like, why wouldn't you want that challenge? You know what I mean? So um, obviously I just love her as sure. a person. So nothing personal, whatever. So when she went up, were you disappointed that you <laughs> Yeah, I was like, no, <laughs> but you know, I can't do it. I look forward to her fight though. Sure. You know, I can't wait to see how she does that, her new weight class and, um, and that fight. And I think it's a Paris. Yes. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And I have to ask, how's Patchy's camp going it's for his uh, his big title fight coming up? Um, so we don't have the date, yeah. but you know he's always he's always training. Actually, he was training earlier today with Marab. So um, you know he's uh, he's definitely staying busy, and um, you know he'll be ready. How's that? How's that watching those two compete in the gym? Because <laughs> I think a lot of people say Patchy of all the fighters outside the UFC, he's the one that you could actually make an argument is the best of the division regardless of promotion. So what's yes. it like watching him compete against Murata? Yeah, you know, I just know that he's the best in the world. So there you go. <laughs> Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Tatiana, right here. Uh, obviously, you're looking at the co-main event tonight, hoping that, you know, you're the next person they bring in the cage for it. Uh, if they decide to go somewhere else, say mm -hmm. Whaley wins, I, I know Yachinam is probably a big option for her too. Yeah. Is there a consolation prize, somebody you'd say, hey, I want this person, or? My consolation prize. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, I don't really have anybody in mind, you know. Um, that would, I mean, you know, say Whaley, say Whaley loses. Maybe I fight Whaley, that would be an amazing fight, you know. Um, and But, you know, who knows? Um, I mean, even I maybe fight Lemos if she loses, she wants to fight again, you know. But uh, yeah, we'll see what, what happens. When I think about you, I think about all like you've had these incredible highs. I mean, the talent's off the charts, but you've obviously had I mean terrible lows. Right. Obviously injuries, cancer. Yeah. I mean, you've you've had some tough things. Do you ever like? How do you stay mentally strong to always be able to come back from these incredible setbacks? Um, I think like I don't know my. I don't know, my mom raised me to just be like, what What can I do, you know what I mean? So I was like, when I did hurt my knee, like it was like a couple of days where I just kind of was like sad. But then I was like, okay, let's get a plan together and like figure things out. And then I was already working out with one leg and two arms and that's okay with me, you know what I mean? It's like making the best of what I, ha what I can and to focus on the things I can do as opposed to the things I can't do, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm just, uh, I guess, just being positive. You know, even when I had cancer, I was just very positive. And uh, I recently had someone that was a teammate of mine that also had had it, and she was asking me for advice. And that was the best advice I can give her is just to be positive throughout those things, and to focus on the things that she can control, and not the you know things you can't. Yeah, that that's absolutely fantastic. Did you, did you have a time that you doubted that you wouldn't come back? Um, for a second after my knee, I just thought about it, and then um, just because I had been off for two years, and then I hurt my knee, and I was like, I can't believe, you know, because I had been so, uh, like I said, positive and just 
doing everything that I could to get back to the cage and then that happened so I was kind of like at loss for words for a little bit but then I was like you know what it was like maybe just like a split second and then I was I was back to me like you, you know and I know how talented I am and I know I'm the best in the world so I just focused on that and just set my mind on it and that's why it was like really amazing to get a couple wins in a row after such a long you know layoff just because of um how much i had to go through to get there but then how did you feel back at 115 it was your first fight back oh i felt good yeah i felt amazing just because uh i, I felt like me again you know i felt like me again and that felt really good, you know, being at 125. I didn't get a really good camp for that fight just because my back was so bad and I wasn't able to train as hard as I usually can. Um, so I felt, you know, a little weird. But at 115, I felt great because I had the camp that I needed. And uh, I sparred a lot and I trained really hard the entire time. And I felt better at being at 115 and being able to get a good camp. Was that fight at 125 just as a transition you know, uh, back down to 115, or do you think you'll revisit that weight class at some point in the future? Um, you know, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know, you know, I think I feel really good at 115, and the cut wasn't so bad, so, but, uh, you know, when I do get the 115 title, I can try to make the transition and get the 125 title too, I think that's an option for me, um, if I want to go that route, you know what I mean? Um, but right now I'm just going to focus on 115 and, you know, I'm excited for the, my future there. Thank you. Thank you. Tatiana right here. Uh, who do you have tonight? Ray Lee Zhang or Amanda Lemos? At first I was leaning towards Lemos, but then I watched a few more fights and then I started leaning to, towards uh, Wei Lee. Um, but, you know, I think, like, if it goes the distance, I think Whaley will win the decision. If I think, I think if it doesn't go the distance, like, within that time, I think that Lemos probably gets, like, a sub or, you know, maybe a TKO or something. But uh, I think that Whaley has, she's really, like, diverse on the feet. I feel like that might, like, I guess, throw Lemos off a little bit. But I also see that Lemos can get a submission. So, you know, I, we'll, we'll see. But I'm excited to see who wins. And then stylistically, which one of them would you rather fight for a potential title someday soon? Either one. I think that I match up well with both of them. And, uh, you know, I think that I'm excited to fight either one. Yeah. <laughs> That's one more thing. Kind of going off of that, obviously, the winner is going to be an, an international, like, superstar winner. Right. So would you be willing to go to Brazil or China to fight them for the belt? No, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, of course. Yeah, I would love that. I mean, I mean, I think I thrive in those types of uh, situations. Um, I actually, my first ever competition, like my first ever world championship, was in Japan, and uh, I fought a Japanese girl, and then I fought a Russian uh, in, in my like for, I guess my bronze medal in Russia. So it was very. I mean, it just it was crazy how that worked out. But I was like. This is this is crazy. My, when I fought, when I wrestled for my first world title, I was 17 years old, and they were like hitting gongs and stuff. I'm like, what is happening? This is nuts. But what an experience I'll remember for the rest of my life. <laughs> Tatiana, one more. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you come from the world of wrestling at an extremely high level. Mm -hmm. uh, American women wrestling is like off the charts right now. How good, yeah. how good it is? Do you still uh, follow it at all? And do you have any connections? And if so, is is there anybody that you're saying, hey, come over to MMA? Um, yeah, I definitely follow it, and uh, I think a lot of the girls there, you know, they're just focusing on wrestling, you know, and uh, I think that they're making good money there too. So I think they're just, you know, content. And plus, when you, when you're in uh, just wrestling, you don't have to worry about the other stuff, you know, getting hit, getting choked out, your arm broken, stuff like that. <laughs> so, um, but thank you, Tatiana. Mm -hmm.